on the field, man. I just trying to feel that dog. I get possessed. Got to flip the switch. I'm a Florida boy. Different breed. It's something about that water around here. When the ball's not, it's go time. My game, dog mentality. To be an O-lineman, you gotta have that dog in you. Anybody, man, you gonna get that work. It don't matter. And that's the dog mentality. You gotta bring it every single day. I was actually born in uh, Louisiana, New Orleans. And when I was like one years old, my family had moved back to Florida, a small town, Okeechobee. One high school there, real small, man. Yeah, that's where I grew up at. I started playing ball in third grade. I had actually played up like four years, you know, ahead, third grade. I was like, I want to say I was like at least five, seven. I was pushing at least 260, 270. Always the biggest guy, you know. I fight the best football come out of Florida, not just because I'm from here. You know, you just look at the track record, man. I just, it's something, it's something about that water around here. Different breed. Y'all came in my sophomore year. I mean, actually, I had came and visited IMG my seventh grade year with my brother, you know, try to get in, things didn't pan out, you know, so I just came up with the mentality that this is where I wanted to be, so I want to play high school football. So for my freshman year, I put it all, I left it all out there on my tape, you know, and I was blessed enough to get an opportunity in the offseason to come here. I would say a guy that knows how to work finesse and speed and power. Them guys, them look like a guy like Nolan Smith. Them type of guys, you know, that give me a hard time. It's just a blessing, man, like being in somewhere like this. You know, iron sharpens iron. You know, being able to go against cats like that, like, it make it easy in the game. Like, blessing. Off the field, man, laid back, cool guy. But on the field, man, I just trying to feel that dog. I don't know, something come over me, I get possessed or something, I don't get it. I don't know. Got to, got to flip the switch. I kind of like to keep a, a clear head when I'm on the line because, you know, I just want to make sure I get, get to my assignments and stuff, but when the ball's not, it's go time. You know, that's kind of how I've been, you know, taught to play my whole life. I'm out of my game after three players or four, actually. I like, I like to watch Orlando Pace, Trent Williams, Tyron Smith, and my all-time favorite, um, Larry Allen. Straight dog. I'm, a, I'm one of those real athletic type of linemen, and I like to, you know, think when I'm playing, you know. I can block real good in space, you know, I can run block real good, I can pass block real good. I just, there's always, there's areas I can improve on, but all in all, I feel like, I would, I would put myself as like an all around, like all purpose O-lineman. Actually, I play every position on the O-line except center. Honestly, I think the spot I'm at now, left tackle, I feel like that's my spot. I love that the most, but I mean, I, I still do miss, you know, more than the trenches as a guard or whatever. That's fun, man. To be an O-lineman, or just to be in them trenches, regardless, you gotta have that dog in you. Because a lot of guys don't want to get hit constantly, 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 constantly. O-line and D-line is the only position on the field you get hit every single play. For me, the dog mentality, you know, just not caring about the guy in front of you, if he got stars or if he, anybody, man, he gonna get that work. It don't matter. You gotta bring it every single day. I want Devon Miller, J.J. Wise, everybody. When I get there, I'm gonna be ready. When I'm on the field, even at the modern day game, it was a whole lot of people out there. Even though it was real loud, I really couldn't hear it. I just got drowned out and I was so locked in on the game. I really don't, you know, really get too affected by that. I'm real, you know, passionate about back home, you know, making sure, like, I'm involved with the youth in, in the community. Like, when they're over the summer, I made it my business to go out to all, to, go out to most of the, uh, the youth football practices or whatever, work with the O-line and just, kind of just like give back because I was brought up on them same fields, you know, so I got to do my part to give back. Uh, my message to the younger youth, man, just, it may sound cliche or cheesy, man, but for real though, every night before I go to bed, I pray and I thank God for everything he's blessed me with. There's a whole lot of people out here that's struggling real bad, and because of him, I'm in the position that I am today, so just give all your thanks to, for everything you got to God, and he'll continue to bless you. Growing up, I knew it was always a dream of mine, but I didn't think it'd manifest like this, you know, this early. You know, this is a blessing from God, man. I owe it all to him. First, man, I'm, I'm just gonna go in there with a the mentality, man. I'm just gonna try to lock down the starting spot my freshman year. That's my goal, you know. I know wherever I go, it ain't gonna be easy, it ain't gonna be given to me, but I'm gonna go in with the mentality that I'm gonna do whatever it takes. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try my best to work harder than anybody else. You know, that's, gonna, that's my goal. This is the brotherhood, man. I'm gonna miss every last one of these guys on my team because we live together, we eat together, man. Like, we really like, meet each other 24 7. 
So I know I might cry whenever I leave them, but. Touchdown. Come on, we back at it. Yeah, on that football grind. If you want to see more videos like that, check them out right here. And also click subscribe.